ashadu anna muhammad rabbuhu wa rasulullah coming on for just a few moments In Surah 53, chapter 53 of the Sacred Quran, the Almighty speaks to the readers concerning two bowls. Two bowls. With steady in-depth study, study, trusting in Allah, following the spirit that Allah gives us through ourselves and through the scholars. We come to find out that the two bowls, Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory to the Most High, and his servant, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prayers and peace be upon him. Muhammad was inspired with the words, with the tongue from his Lord. And shouldn't that be the aim of each and every one of us? To become so near, so close to the Lord that he speaks to us. And our, each one of our individual lives and in the life of the community. In chapter 37, Verse or sign number 141. There is the word from the Lord which says, Sahama. In the Yusuf Ali translation, American English translation, it reads, it says that he, speaking of Jonah, Eunice, it says that he drew lots, drew lots, Sahama. Dear beloved people, that same, that very same word root is the Quran Arabiya word root for the word arrow. So by definition, when he drew lots, a form of what? Divination, drawing lots, drawing arrows. Some of you may be thinking, as I did initially, well, this is speaking, the Lord is speaking about Jonah, Eunice. He was a good man, a good person. He would not do anything like casting lots, drawing lots. People, the Lord is speaking through him telling us about our own individual selves. Like the story of Jonah tells us, many times in human life, 
we know that the Lord has given us an assignment to go on a particular mission in life, way of life. Then for whatever reason, forgetfulness of whatever reason, we let this world pull us off so that we run away from the mission and we get on board loaded ships. Passages other than what the Lord has told us to do. Yes, but as the story of Jonah says, we have to come to our senses and recognize our wrong. Repent and rededicate self to performing the mission that the Lord has given us. Become straight as an arrow. Become straight on the mission. Being aimed in speech, in tongue. Being aimed at edification of self and community. Of this world in which we live. Jalama, the word root for he spoke, he mouthed, he mouthed words. People, don't you know that the your Lord God speaks words to you, to all of us? Your Lord speaks to you, dear people. Get that type of close relationship with your Lord. In the Christian communities, they call it a personal relationship with the Lord. Can Muslims have? Yes, indeed. We better get it. You better get that close to your Lord. So that as you read the words of your holy book, so that as you look at the uh, lessons in creation, the way that your Lord has formed it, you will see words being mouthed, being set forth by your Lord God Creator. Aibara, he passed, he passed over, crossed over, don't we have to get like that? Don't we have to achieve the point in our individual lives and in the life of the community where we are able intelligently with purpose, we are able to mouth, to pass over, to help cross over the message that the Lord Almighty has given us in the scriptures. And let me take this brief moment to acknowledge Brother Mahim Hassan Mishad. Assalamu alaikum, Maki. Ramadan Mubarak. This word here in chapter 3, verse 13. The word Aibara, to cross over, to pass over, to be mouthed. The Lord teaches us lessons. Another definition of this word, Ruth. Lessons. Lessons through the mouth, through his mouth, which is the creation, which is the written words of the sacred Quran. The Lord has power over all uh, writing, all types of writing. Even though this, some books may be worldly books, but the Lord still has power 
over the language, over the tongues of those books. The Lord has the power to bring forth the truth. Give it to you. Brighten up your heart, mind, and soul so that you can mouth the word, so that you will become as though you're shot, an arrow shot from a bow, as your prophet Muhammad was. Follow the example of your, of your prophet Muhammad. Be shot from the bow of righteousness. Let the arrow of true dedication catapult you, send you forth into the path that your Lord has decreed. Listen, the tongue, the language, the almighty Lord God creator says in the sacred Quran and also in the Holy Bible that he gave the tongue of David Dawood, the tongue of Esau, Jesus. He gave them both tongue, language of praise, clear expression of the Lord's ultimate authority. No. Just as in the case of Jonah, these men never, these people never went back or uh, went against the word of the Lord. Dear people, this is our time in history. This is the prophesied time. This is the end, the end, the conclusion of human development. The Lord has blessed us with a tongue, a language of rightness. Libas utakwa. The clothing of rightness. The clothing of uh, fear of uh, disrespecting the Lord God creator. In the Holy Bible, one of the names that's given for this phenomena is called the Melchizedek, Melchizedek effect. Melchizedek comes from the Eastern language, from the Quran Arabia language. King Malik, Sadaka, King of speaking the truth. Speaking the truth. Or the king of establishing the truth that the Almighty Lord God Creator has caused to be passed over. Correctly identified and interpreted for the world today. We're coming out of darkness, people, by the grace of the Lord. Yes. And if you haven't already dawned, let it dawn on your mind, then just let me explain something to you. You are listening to the voice of a so-called black person, born and raised, the descendant of slaves, descendant of a people that were robbed from their natural home, brainwashed, deprived of all contact, <clears throat> all knowledge and science, true knowledge and science of the Lord. But the Lord's words, the Lord mouth, the Lord gave forth the Lord's call, the Lord caused to pass over, to cross over to us, to our heart, mind, and soul, through the efforts of the teacher Imam Waradin Muhammad. He taught us to get into the words, his word, the Quran Arabiya, 
Get into it, we were taught, we were advised. Learn to read it. Learn to interpret it. Learn to understand it with ration. <clears throat> with intelligent behavior, constitution. Let your Lord lead you and never fear. You are on the path of success. I thank you all, dear people. Ramadan Mubarak. I thank you all. Love you all. The peace be upon you all. Please subscribe to my channel. Assalamu alaikum.